Hi friends, hope that you all are ready to celebrate Christmas. This is the third video of Food Desk under ISO 22000 playlist. Today we are talking about planning, sixth clause of the standard. This clause is subdivided as 6.1 actions to address risks and opportunities. 6.2 objectives of the food safety management system and planning to achieve them. 6.3 planning of changes. Planning is one of the key components of any management system. This section sets out a framework that asks an organization to analyze itself to determine the risks and opportunities of its activities and then how to address them. 6.1 Actions to address risks and opportunities. First of all, when planning for the FSMS, the organization shall consider Context of the organization The needs and expectations of interested parties and The scope of the food safety management system You re looking to answer the following questions What are we trying to achieve? What could stop us from achieving our objectives? How will we address these issues? How can risks be turned into opportunities? How can opportunities help us to improve? Who will be responsible for actions? When will we need to take action by? How will we know whether our actions were effective? Here risks not only involve food safety risks but also those risks that can impact your FSMS losing productivity and effectiveness. ISO 22000 differentiates between two types of risk management. Operational level and risks that could make an impact into food safety. All actions taken to address the identified risks and opportunities must be proportionate to the potential impact on the conformity of products and services and customer satisfaction. 6.2 Objectives of the Food Safety Management System and Planning to Achieve Them the SMART term will guide you on the establishment of adequate objectives for your organization, so you should think of the following requirements when setting them as they should be. Specific, as precise as possible. Measurable, quantifiable so we can monitor progress. Achievable, failure shall not be built into objectives. Realistic, possible for your organization. Timely, with a completion date established. The organization shall retain documented information on the objectives for the FSMS. The objectives need to be Consistent with the food safety policy Measurable Consistent with applicable food safety requirements, including statutory, regulatory and customer requirements Monitored and verified Communicated Maintained and updated Creating a simple matrix with following criteria would help you to clarify the objectives. What will be done? What resources will be required? Who will be responsible? When it will be completed? How the results will be evaluated? 6.3 Planning of Changes When there is change in the system, your organization must maintain the integrity of the FSMS, so the changes must be considered and a revision conducted to implement them. As per the standard following should take into account The purpose of the changes and their potential consequences The continued integrity of the FSMS The availability of resources to effectively implement the changes The allocation or reallocation of responsibilities and authorities Planning helps an organization chart a course for the achievement of its goals. The process begins with reviewing the current operations of the organization and identifying what needs to be improved. Therefore everything you need to know about the planning. Let us plan your FSMS effectively and achieve goals. Thanks for watching us. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. Have a nice week.